hey hello everyone uh, in this video uh, I'm going to show you that how can you use the VLOOKUP function in an invoice uh, we have talked about the VLOOKUP formula in the previous videos uh, go and check out the link is mentioned in the description below now uh, this video is all about that how can we use the VLOOKUP function we have learned previously in an invoice now this is uh, an invoice and uh, you can find many of the templates on the excel just go to the file and click on the new and you search out the templates you will find many of so uh, we are not talking we are not talking about the formatting or the templates as we are talking about how can we apply we look up function in this format so Let's say suppose you are making an invoice and uh, you have a bunch of customers. Now every single time when you select a, when you write uh, a customer's name in that invoice, you have to fill the details of that customer too. Now I'm going to apply a VLOOKUP function to each of these these you know cells you know on the contact person address. I will just write the name on the uh, name of the customers in this invoice and the excel will automatically upda update these cells by itself so let me show you how how can you perform this vlooka function in this invoice first of all what i'm going to do here is to applying a drop down list function now how can you apply a drop down list just go to the data data validation any value select the list and here in the source now here I have the database of my customers the name of the my customer the contact person address and country where they live the phone number the email whatever now this is a drop down list for the names just select the data now here you get the drop down list function now I can use every time the name of my customer just by a single click Easy, huh? now I'm going to apply the simple VLOOKUP function in this contact person is equal to VLOOKUP break it open lookup value now in this example the VLOOKUP value will be the company name which is the C6 comma table now where we have the table on the sheet one this is a table <coughs> now uh, we have learned that your data must be arranged with the uh, with the proper columns and the with the proper defined names on the columns in order to you know apply this vlookup function <coughs> and uh, we have talked about the private tables previously go and check out the link mentioned below all right so this is a table i've arranged the table with the proper names comma column index number now in this example the column index number of the contact person will be the column number will be the two two comma i'm going for the exact match bracket close so we have successfully applied the formula now let's check whether it's working abc company contact person is mike go to the sheet one mike see how it works now I'm going to apply the same VLOOKUP function in every of these cells in the address simple go the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP value is ABC bracket table here is the table <coughs> bracket now for address the column num index number will be column number 3 exact match bracket close I don't have the city zip here. Uh, country, yes, I have the country. We look up. Look up value bracket for the table array. Uh, bracket country column index number one, two, three, four. It will be the four. Exact match bracket close. Phone number, yes, we have the phone numbers here. We look up value table column next number one two three four five on e exact match 
and here we go that's how it works it's very simple now every time when i will make the invoice uh, i will just go to the company name drop down list i will select the name of my company just say suppose i'm issuing an invoice to henry mills i will select the henry mills from the list and it will provide me the details of henry mills thanks for watching